Good day, everybody. My name is Jenny Watkins, and I am a Access Consciousness Bars and Body Process Facilitator and an Empowerment Coach. So today, I would like to chat to you about the Access Consciousness Tools and Techniques. These are tools and techniques that I have used since 2011 that have greatly contributed to me changing different areas of my life that haven't been working for me. And I am now facilitating these different classes and doing private sessions using these tools. So Access Consciousness was started by Gary Douglas. Approximately 30 years ago now, he got to a space or a, or a time in his life where he kind of was a little bit fed up. Like um, a lot of us, when we hit our crossroads and we're going, there has to be more to life than this, or um, I would like something different, or this isn't working for me, or what else can I do? And when you start asking questions, different things show up for you because you have asked. That's one of the laws of the universe to ask and receive. So there's also the saying, uh, when you ask a question, when a student asks a question, the teacher appears. So uh, Gary at the time was channeling and he went to go work with a client in New York. He's based in the States. And while he was working with his client, he got a download of information about Access Bars. Now, Access Bars is one of the first classes that you do within the Access Consciousness uh, range and body of work. And what Access Bars are, are 32 different points on the head that when you lightly touch them in different combinations, they initiate a discharge from the brain, from the mind, from the body, any electro, electromagnetic component of thought that you're holding on to around um, judgments or decisions or attitudes or considerations or, or um, identities, different things that you have accumulated during your lifetime that you have a charge on it because you've either made it right or you've made it wrong or good or bad Anyway, you align and agree or resist or react to something, it creates like a charge on it and it puts an energy on it and a focus. And then what happens is you then spend your life choosing based on those decisions that you've made, whether they are um, continue to be relevant and true for you over a period of time or not. And they start driving our lives on an unconscious level without us realizing it we accumulate a lot of beliefs and a lot of decisions and a lot of judgments during our lifetime. And pretty much what that does is it puts us on autopilot. So the access bars is a way of allowing you to release all of this from the brain so that you can get off autopilot and then you have more space to be able to choose. You have a greater awareness of all the possibilities that are available and you can get into that space of starting to ask questions and to choose something different. So that is one of the first ways to start changing your life is to get your bars run regularly. Along the way, um, Gary realized that he could now teach other people how to run bars. So he initially started running bars for his friends and family and then realized he could teach it to other people and he started training access bars practitioners and now there are access bars facilitators which are people that can now teach other bars practitioners so this body work has expanded around the globe um, massively so access consciousness is now in more than 174 countries around the world and translated into many, 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 many different languages. Um, so while Gary was expanding access consciousness and getting awareness of a lot more um, different information, he was able to create these tools and techniques that energetically transform things for people. Whilst he was doing this, he met a gentleman called Dr. Dane here. And because Gary has this amazing capacity to follow the energy and recognize when somebody's energy or a situation energetically matches what he's asking for, then he follows that or invites that person into his life and starts working with them. So now Dr. Dane here is the co-creator of Access Consciousness with Gary Douglas. And they have formed this amazing organization, transformed hundreds of thousands of people's lives around the world and is really 
it's that the tools and techniques are not about having getting someone to do something for you they're about empowering you to know that you know and they are tools that you can use every single day that unlock you from the polarity and the limitations and things that are holding you back in your life so they self-empowerment tools and techniques if you get stuck and you don't quite know where to go and you don't know what questions to ask then you can contact a facilitator and they'll ask you a series of questions and then using the different tools we'll be able to transfer form energetically what's going on for you. So for me personally, um, the, I started off doing a lot of positive practice, which is, for example, you stand in front of a mirror and say 20 times, I am good enough, I am good enough, I am good enough, I am good enough. But what I found over a period of time is it didn't really, it like had a short-term effect, but long-term it didn't really change anything. And what I realized later on is the reason why it doesn't do that is because your underlying energy, your underlying belief is still that you're not good enough. Because if you didn't have a belief that you're not good enough, you wouldn't have to keep on saying, I am good enough. But the problem with that is now you've got the same coin, you've just flipped it over, but the energy is still the same. You're just on the other side of it. So that's why I love the tools of access because it has an access consciousness clearing statement that allows you to get to that root, um, the root of the tree, to speak, where you planted that seed of alignment agreement or resisted or reacted to something that created the belief or the fixed point of view in the first place and it transforms that it takes the charge off it completely and from my perspective what that does is it gives you this neutral base now to start from and when you're in a neutral space where there's no charge where you're not trying to make anything right or wrong or good or bad then you have that possibility to choose something from this from your knowing and from what you're aware of and from what you I get an awareness of what's going to work for you and it's not in reaction to anything because when you're in reaction to something i've noticed that it, that you're not when you react to something you don't always choose what's going to create greater for you you're having to choose for or against that thing that you're reacting to so the 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 key for me was moving from personal um, sorry from positive practice to energy transformational tools was that it changed the energy it changed that took the charge off the belief so that I no longer believed in whatever that thing is that I was trying to change so the um, so the additional tools with access so you can start with the bars it's the one thing to get your bars run regularly that's where you'll lie down on the massage table. A bars practitioner will touch different points of your head and initiate this discharge from the brain. And people have different results from, from having the bar session. And it's totally up to the client what they're willing to receive, what they're willing to let go of during that session. And um, so people's uh, responses to the sessions are, are different. Mine was I was extremely angry. Um, and what I realized looking back was I'd grown up in quite an aggressive environment and had become quite an angry person myself. So it was discharging all this anger that I still was holding in the brain and in my body. So for a couple of days, I was quite angry, but after that, I found that sense of space and relief, which was amazing, because then I felt totally different. Um, some people may find that they cry because they're releasing a lot of sadness. Some people are like happy straight away. Some people just feel really relaxed. Some people feel like a lo load has been lifted off their shoulders. Whatever it is for you, it's your own personal experience. There's no right or wrong way to an experience um, a bar session. What is the benefits of having your bars run? Well, it can create more, it can open up the space of more possibilities for you. You can get a greater sense of well being. You will become happier, more joyful, less stressed, less depressed, um, have more ease with um, clarity of mind, less monkey mind, you know, that obsessive overthinking. Um, there you, can, you may find that you're able to concentrate for longer periods of time and with more ease. Children find that they are able to get through with ex exams and with studies with more ease. There's a lot of, of benefits from getting your bars run. In addition to that, if you have done any kind of studies or read any books from people like Dr. Bruce Lipton or Greg Braden or Dr. Joe Dispenza, they talk about what happens to your body when you have these insistent um, compulsive obsessive thoughts going on all the time and the effect that it has on your body because your body responds to what you're thinking, feeling and emoting. 
And sometimes what can occur is then your body then maybe creates some pain or some kind of condition. And it's your body's way of telling you that there's something going on that perhaps is really stuck energetically or some trauma that's still stuck that um, requires to be released and the bars can contribute to that. Because when you let go of all these stuck, hidden, unconscious thoughts that you've got going on, then that allows for the body to start self-healing and to change um, on a cellular level. So there are many benefits to the bars. It can assist with your health as well and with more ease with your body. Then if you really like the body work, Access Consciousness have body processes. And the body processes are different energies that get run on the body that also creates more ease for the body, allows for the cells to return to their uh, cervical shape, um, they become elliptical when there's too many thoughts, feelings, and emotions coming on, which is when um, the body starts to change. And it is a great way to nurture your body and to also increase your body's capacity to receive. We are not taught to receive in this reality. We are taught to judge. And what judgment does is actually... Um, kind of puts you into to reaction to people's judgments because nobody likes being judged. And when you feel like you need to protect yourself from judgment, then you start putting up barriers around yourself. And when you start getting barriered, it's you can have difficulties in receiving. And when you have difficulties with receiving, you may have difficulties with relationships, money flows with your business, with your job, etc., because you're all buried and protected. And when you're buried and protected, you're always in defense. And do you get a sense that when you're trying to defend yourself or protect yourself the whole time, when people are trying to be kind to you, when people are trying to contribute to you, when people would like to give to you, um, they may find that's a little um, difficult to do because of your lack of receiving. So the body processes and access bars contribute to that so that the more you're willing to receive which includes receiving you which is very important is the more you're willing to receive you the more you're willing to be you you'll probably find you are happier more joyful more relaxed and more at peace the more um, your energy your energy flows will improve your health issues will improve body image will improve money flows will improve relationships will improve all kinds of things will change in addition to the bars and the body processes, there are also a large number of, of other tools and techniques that you can use every day. One of them is what's light for you is true and what's heavy is not true. And this is a, an amazing tool that you can use every day so that you can follow your awareness and the energy of what's going to create more for you. You also have an awareness when somebody is lying to you because it'll start getting heavy. You'll also be able to recognize fake news because it starts to get heavy, then you know it's not true for you. And it's an amazing tool that now you can start accessing what you know and your awareness and you won't need to take the advice of other people. Not to say that you can't receive information from people that is helpful, how, but you won't need to um, get other people's opinions to know what is the right thing for you. You can follow your awareness by asking the questions. Um, if I choose this, what will my life be like in five years time? And if it gets light and expensive, you know that thing that you're looking at or considering is going to contribute to you. And if it gets heavy, then you know that it's not. And yeah, so there's many ways that you can use the tool light and heavy. One of the other targets of access is to empower people to know that they know. And in order for you to know that you know, you have to get out of judgment. What judgment does is it locks you down into making yourself wrong most of the time. And when you make yourself wrong, you will, you may find it difficult to make decisions or to choose something. You may find it difficult to take action and move forward. You will lack inspiration. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and all kinds of things will block you, hamper you, get in your way if you continue to judge yourself. Now, yes, most of us have been taught that judgment is normal. 
In fact, I remember giving a presentation a few years ago where um, I was starting to talk about judgment and people thought I'd lost my marbles because they were going, but it's normal to judge. You've got to make something right or wrong in order to know what to choose. You've got to make yourself right or wrong to, in order to know whether you're a good or a bad person. But what if that's not true? And when you judge yourself, when you make yourself wrong for something, does that ever feel light for you or does it always feel heavy? And remember, what's light is true and what's heavy is a lie. So therefore, if you're heavy when you're judging yourself and making yourself wrong, if you're create, getting stressed, if you're getting depressed, if you're getting sad or angry or lonely or whatever, that is an indication that you've started to lie to yourself by judging yourself, by making yourself wrong, because judgments are a lie. It takes a while to get your head wrapped around that. Like, really? There's like, I mean, I remember that I spent... I spend so much time making myself wrong because I truly believed that in order for me to be a better person, I had to keep on judging whether I was saying the right thing, doing the right thing, acting the correct way. I remember spending, I used to go to bed at night and I would replay my whole day over and over to go, I shouldn't have done this and I should have done that and I said that wrong and I shouldn't have done this and that was really bad and I didn't get that done and uh, you know, I haven't done it for three days now so I'm really you know, a bad employee or a bad mom or whatever it was. And I spent so much time making myself wrong that I didn't realize that I was actually creating a lot of depression for myself and unhappiness. And then what I found is like the longer you do that and the more consistently you judge yourself, the longer it takes to get out of it. And then you have to like really kick your butt <laughs> to get yourself out of these, these big black holes that that I used to put myself into. So I was so grateful when I discovered the access consciousness tools and the particular tool for judgment is interesting point of view. So if you catch yourself making yourself wrong, if you're going, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Interesting point of view. I have this point of view. Now use this tool in your head. You don't have to say it out loud. You can just keep on thinking in your head. Interesting point of view. I have this point of view. Interesting point of view. I have this point of view. Interesting. Oh, <laughs> interesting that's what happens when unconsciousness is leaving some people yawn interesting point of view i have this point of view and you keep saying it until it gets lighter and you stop making yourself wrong when you when people are judging you um <laughs> it's quite funny somebody judged me this morning i was out on a walk and the, and i was chatting to this guy that was walking up the mountain <laughs> and he said something to me about <laughs> just quite funny anyway uh, I just had to really straight away go to interesting point of view he has this point of view interesting point of view he has this point of view interesting point of view he has this point of view because there was that moment where I wanted to be offended I wanted to get offended by what he said but it doesn't really matter if you can be in that space of interesting point of view oh it's working um interesting point of view has this point of view interesting point of view he has that point of view so again, say it in your head. Don't say it out loud. Um, it's it's not a tool of it's not a, it's not um, it's not ammunition against people. The tools of access are to create more for you and to create more ease for you. Um, so yes, if somebody's judging you, interesting point of view. They have their point of view. If you're judging yourself, interesting point of view or interesting point of view. I have this point of view. And if you find you're judging someone or a situation, interesting point of view. I have that point of view. The gift and gold of being an interesting point of view gives you that space of allowance. When you're in a space of allowance, you can receive more. And when you can receive more and your barriers are more, that is where you start getting an awareness of other possibilities and other choices that are available for you. All the time you're in the right or wrong, good or bad scenario, you lock yourself down into the only thing that can show up for you has to match those judgments. Otherwise, you're not willing to consider those possibilities. Because what happens is the mind wants to be right all the time. So you spend most of your life avoiding being wrong and trying to make sure that you're right. A lot of energy in that, a lot of stress and anxiety trying to get to perfectionism or whatever it is that's driving you. And at the end of the day, there is no such thing as perfectionism because based on what standard would anybody be perfect? We're not supposed to be perfect. We are different. We are all different. And that is our unique 
us that we are not willing to be in the world because we're so judged and so put down and so made to think that we've got to fit in to everybody's points of view or you know everything's got to be fair and equal and i'm not saying that people shouldn't have the the opportunity to choose whatever they'd like to choose that's not what i'm saying at all but it's it's if you make everything fair where do people get to choose and where do people get to be them and be different so it's called it's like it's like trying not to be it's trying to be average and when you're trying to be average and fit in how much of you do you have to suppress diminish cut off reduce like make yourself really small so that you can fit in to what is considered to be normal or average so that you don't stick out because if you stick out then obviously you're going to be judged so what if judgment's not real what if the programming of our upbringing has been um, that we have to avoid judgment at all costs because if you get judged that's the worst thing in the world what if you suddenly recognize but judgment's not real judgment is just somebody's points of view and what makes their point of view right and my point of view wrong or vice versa no it's like that's my point of view i don't need to impel my point of view on you and i don't need you to align and agree with me or resist or react to me that is just my point of view the same way you have a point of view which i don't have to align and agree with either or resist or react to now we're both in that space of allowance and we get to have our point of view so you get to live your life and i get to live my life and what if when we're in that space of allowance then we have a knowing of what's going to create more for everyone and it's not individualistic it's not driven by self-interest um, because then we know what's going to create greater and we know what choices we can make that will include everyone that will contribute to a greater reality because over what's i mean this i'm now filming this in uh, lockdown i was gonna say in the middle of lockdown i flip and hope it's not the middle of lockdown i hope it's at the end of lockdown we're about three months in now i think i live in in south africa in cape town um so we're we're about three months into lockdown and what will it take for this to now change with ease and for it to open up uh, way quicker than we ever considered possible so let's put that question that possibility out there into the universe and ask the universe to contribute to that um, uh, what was I saying? I've lost my track of thought. Anyway, so yes, I don't, I, oh, if we contribute, if we can get out of all this judgment, if we can get out of judging each other and, and start functioning from more kindness and more caring and not caring from a burdening point of view that I have to care for you and take on the burdens of you, the caring is like, you that's what you're choosing and being in total allowance of your choice and supporting your choice even if that's not my choice that's not my business but i can still support you in your choice now what if we can be in that space that will contribute to a greater planet and if we have happier people on the planet will that contribute to a more sustainable planet in the future if we have happier kind of people will we then have an awareness and have the space of knowing what choices we can make that will contribute to the earth so that we can be stewards of the earth and not consumers of the earth. There's so many other things that can be available to us if we would get out of the competition and the judgment and putting each other down and putting ourselves down. We've got to stop putting ourselves down. If you'd like to see a change in the world, it starts with you individually and the tools of access allow you to strip away all the stuff that really is not you and strip away all the thoughts that you have that you think you've got to fit in and be the same as everyone else and where you're not willing to be you um, to your fullest uh, capacity. I'm not sure if that makes sense. I didn't language that so well, but anyway. And yeah, you could just get a sense of the possibilities and the choices and all the different things that can show up if we are energetically being us because what contribution will that be to the next person and the next person and the next person what invitation is it to everyone for them to be themselves we can we can have a totally different planet if we would be willing to to show up more really just show up more and be more of you
and be willing to be vulnerable with whoever you are. Yes, sometimes we say something that maybe didn't create more. It's like, yeah, then it's, I'm really sorry. How can I make up, make up to you for, for this? Um, it's not about being so filtered and so careful about what you say and do. Because when you're doing it from that space, nine times out of 10, the thing that you're trying really hard not to be will pop out when you're stressed anyway. So, so be willing to be all of you because then you have more choice. When you're locked down, filtered, trying to be careful, trying not to hurt other people's feelings. And I'm not saying go out and deliberately hurt people. That's not the point. But you're not being you if you're people pleasing. You are not being you if you're worried about what other people think. You are not being you if you're scared of hurting other people's feelings. If you say something that hurts my feelings, that's up to me to deal with. If you are speaking your truth and you're being you, and it offends me. I then get to look at what is that thing that offended me so that I can change that because that is that has pushed one of my buttons in a judgment that I have of myself that actually has nothing to do with you. So what invitation can we be to like unpack all this garbage that is really not us? Another amazing, amazing tool of access consciousness is who does this belong to? Or is this mine? What we don't realize and what we have not been taught is because we are, and if this is light for you, an infinite being or an energetic being, we are also pretty aware of other people's thoughts, feelings, and emotions energetically. And if we are not asking, is this mine or who does this belong to? And then letting it go and realizing that most of that stuff that we are picking up is not ours. You are trying to process it. You're trying to heal it. You're trying to change it. You're trying to fix it because it feels icky or whatever it is. And then you wonder why you spend days on some weird energy that has affected you and it doesn't, and it doesn't ever change. The reason why it's not changing is because it's not yours. The tool for that is return to sender with consciousness attached. You don't need to know who it belongs to. You don't need to know where it came from. Allow it, that energy to just flow back into the universe with consciousness attached and consciousness will do the job and change it the way it needs to change. You don't need to know how that's going to work. You can just let it go. Because what if 98% or even more of what we pick up energetically doesn't belong to us? That is a lot of energy you are using on a lot of thoughts, feelings, and emotions that are not yours. And then we wonder why we are so involved in other people's lives and other people's realities and not living our own life and choosing and creating our own life. So what if this is the freedom that you've been seeking that you're going to, oh. okay, who am I? What would I like to choose today? What action would I like to take today? How would I like to create my life? What would I like my life to look like? What would I like my life to be like? And these are questions now that you can start asking, and that's the platform for which you can start creating your life. And it's not based on a whole ton of thoughts, feelings, and emotions that don't even belong to you, because it's like playing joke, broken telephone anyway. By the time you pick up that thing, it doesn't even represent what, how it started off in the first place. So like if, it, if you consider that our brains are like receptors, they've got like these receptors. And then when your radio is like out of tune, that's when you start getting scratchy and irritable and frustrated and not feeling like yourself. So an amazing tool. Is this mine? No. Return to sender with consciousness attached. Who does this belong to? Well, wow, that lightened up. That's not mine. Return to sender with consciousness attached. Amazing, brilliant tool. And I would suggest use that out of all the tools perhaps use that first so that you don't have to to try and handle stuff that isn't yours then another amazing tool is the access consciousness clearing statement and this is the magic wand that takes the charge of things that you have made right or wrong or good or bad or should or shouldn't or beliefs or fixed points of view it just like transforms them energetically so that now you have this neutral space which is this place you would like to like will create more for you because now you have choice and you will have an awareness of the infinite possibilities that are available to you. And then you'll have 
that space and allowance for the universe to contribute to you and to bring things to you in a way that you could never have imagined from the mind. The mind can only give you what it's already experienced. It cannot access all possibilities. It just gives you what it already knows. And then it keeps you boxed in and limited into that because it's running you around the same thing over and over again. And you try and do a different variation, trying to get it to work and fix it or do whatever and try and get it right and avoid being wrong. And it's just a mess. So like destroy and uncreate it, let it go, dissipate. Poof, use the access consciousness clearing statement, transform that energy. It's a flippin' amazing tool. And to go to theclearingstatement.com um, to get more information on that. Dr. Dane here does a brilliant explanation of how it works. And use it whenever you feel stuck or heavy or limited, use it. So everything that is, I destroy and uncreate it, say the clearing statement, poof, and it'll transform it and you can move on with your day. Then, so now you're like, kind of, okay, so what's light is true for me, what's heavy is a lie. Who does this belong to, or is this mine? Return to sender with consciousness attached. Destroy and uncreate anything that doesn't belong to me. Interesting point of view to get out of judgment. So now you are in that space where you can start asking questions. What else is possible? And when we ask questions with, with, um, from the access perspective, it's not about finding an answer. Because when you go to the answer, when you go to conclusion, when you go to solution, when you go to whatever, anything like that, you lock it down again and you're going, okay, that's the only way that this can show up or this has to be the solution and you have to do a lot, put a lot of energy into getting that thing to show up for you. What if you just, it's like opening doors. What else is possible? Ding, 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 ding. And there go all the doors in the universe and start opening up for you. And then different things can show up and then you have choice. If I choose you, what will my life be like in five years time? If I choose you, what will my life be like in five years time? If I don't choose you, what will my life be like in five years time? And that's where you start learning to follow the energy of things. And when you're working energetically, you no longer need that configuration, that algorithm, that obsessive over addictive thinking that goes on you will be able to and you'll have a lot more ease right because you ask a question boom ask a question boom there's no thinking involved now you are functioning from your knowing such a cool place to be so what else is possible awesome question how does it get better than this on anything whether something is good has happened or bad happened doesn't matter how does it get better than this how does it get better than this? That was the most amazing meal. How does it get better than this? We're in lockdown in South Africa. We're on month three and we've just been told we're going for another month. How does it get better than this? That is like, you don't have to know. You don't have to go into judgment. You don't have to go into conclusion. Just open it up and allow the universe to bring different things to you. Um, how can this work out greater than I can ever imagine? One of my favorite questions. That is so cool. How can this work out greater than I can ever imagine? How can this work out greater than I can ever imagine? Now, the thing is, you've got to resist the temptation to find the answer or come to conclusion and just leave it open-ended. Um, another question can be, uh, what else can I choose or be different today that I never considered possible before? Now you start unraveling the conclusions, the limitations of the mind and start opening up and opening it up and opening up. And now you have that space of infinite possibilities and infinite choice by being in the question all the time. Another fabulous tool, access consciousness mantra, all of life comes to me with ease, joy and glory. All of life comes to me with ease joy and glory again you can say it on things that are going well not so well doesn't matter again keeps on opening the doors keeps on opening the doors keeps on opening the doors life does not have to be hard it doesn't have to be a struggle and even if you do go in dips of that again you just keep on using the tools and then you'll come out of it with more ease you'll notice that the dips will get shorter um, they don't and they won't happen so frequently anymore if you say all of life comes to me with ease during glory in the morning and in the afternoon or in the evenings 10 times um, twice a day and you can say it obviously as often as you like you'll notice that those huge spikes in life of the drama and trauma that carries on you'll find it'll kind of even out and you'll have more ease even when things are not going so well or something shows up that's not cool because we don't have control over our external environment we can be control 
with what's going on inside of us. So things do happen outside of our control. Although there are probably some points of view that we are part of the lockdown and that this international crisis has been a contribution because people did want to slow down. They did want to get off the hamster wheel. They just wanted some time out. They wanted some time to breathe and reflect or whatever that perhaps some people have been asking for this and it did show up because thoughts create, everything creates, every choice creates, every single choice you create, every thought that you choose to engage with creates, every feeling you choose to engage with creates, every emotion you choose to engage with creates, every judgment you choose creates, every decision creates, every conclusion creates. Now you've got to start getting very present and aware of how you're thinking and what are you saying and what's coming out of your mouth. Because when you can get present and aware with the energies of all the things that you're saying, that's where you can change your life because now you can choose something different. You don't have to be on autopilot. It's not true that we don't have control over our thoughts, feelings, emotions. We do. We have tools now that you can release that and let it go so that it doesn't have to control you anymore. Now you can be controlled. You can control what thoughts to engage with. You can control the feelings, the emotions, etc. Keep using the tools, keep using the tools, keep using the tools, and it will start lifting and slowly um, changing things and create more ease. Get out of the stuckness, get out of the limitation, get out of the definitions and the judgments and the conclusions. So, what else? The more ease you have, I'm going to say mentally or from the mind, the less you function from the mind, the less you function from thinking, the less you function from feelings, the less you function from in, uh, emotions you will then start to function as an infinite being, which is like a higher vibration, a higher energy of knowing, being, perceiving, and receiving. And when you're energetically functioning from those energies, when you know something, no thinking is required. When you're being all of you, no feelings are required. When you are uh, sorry, emotions are required. When you are perceiving those light whispers of perception, which changes all the time, then the feelings are no longer required. And when you're starting to receive with more ease, the less control you have to do. And if you give up that force and control, you allow that flow, you allow the universe to contribute to you. Is it possible that now your body starts to show up with more ease because your body is a reflection of your thoughts, feelings, emotions, and your points of view over the years. That, that may come as a bit of a blow because there is a lot of points of view about external factors that have an impact on the body. I'm not saying that they don't. However, the, the possibilities for changing things with your body can start with you releasing the judgments that you have of yourself so that your body doesn't have to hold on to that energy anymore. And when it can let that energy go, then is it possible that your body can become more healthier? Is it possible your body can release some pain, some stiffness, some intensity? Is it possible then to have more ease with your body? And then does your health change? Um, does your the capacity to receive change? Does your capacity to nurture yourself more change? So there's like there's no one approach for anything. It's it's like sometimes you do work with the body. If you use some of the access consciousness body processes, that energetically releases something from the body that can have an impact on what you're thinking um, and what's going on in the mind, and there can be a release from there, or you release it from the mind and it changes it in the body. There's no like kind of is a simultaneity of that change that occurs between you, the being and your body and releasing and unhooking from the mind and starting to function more as the infinite being um, you truly be. So there's a lot of ways that you can um, take care of wellness, the physical wellness, the mental wellness, um, any kind of um, aspect that you're looking at with changing in your life, if you're looking to change a relationship, if you're looking for more ease with money, if you're looking for a change in your health or with your body, 
any part of your life, you can use these access consciousness tools um, to contribute to that um, and to change things for you. So that's pretty much a summary, very basic summary of access consciousness and the tools. Um, there is a, a website called www.accessconsciousness.com where you can go and get a lot more information. Please um, search for Gary Douglas and Dr. Dane Kia on YouTube. There's a lot of free content there. There's a lot of free classes that they have online. If you go to the Access Consciousness TV, which is on the website, there's a lot of free intro classes there. Also with a lot of other facilitators around the world. There's a lot of facilitators um, that have taken their specialty and created classes from that. So their specialties with relationships, their specialties with business, their specialties with money, their specialties with uh, what we call X-Men. The X-Men are the people that have been diagnosed with ADD, ADHD, OCD, autism, Asperger's, etc. Those people are multi-talented, have a lot of capacity and probably are the evolution of our species and what can they show us. Um, and if you've got a child that's been diagnosed with any of those things or is you as an adult, because think that maybe you have some aspects of that, you will be given the tools that will allow you to have more ease with all these different capacities that you have because they're not a wrongness. There's nothing wrong with you. It's not a disability. It's actually a capacity. So those are the X-Men classes. Then there's um, classes with regards to choice or um, many, many, many classes. There's also an access consciousness class is the foundation and the four day foundation class is where you destroy and create and let go of the foundation that you've built your life on up till now that no longer works for you and then you're given tools to create your life the way you would like in the future and included in that are some body processes as well so you'll learn how to run some body processes but i've jumped the gun so if you would like some more information please go to the Access Consciousness website or you're welcome to get hold of me. My number is 082-929-5349 and my, web, my email address is jenny at blinkglobal, B-L-I-N-K-G-L-O-B-A-L dot C-O dot Z-A. If you are not local in South Africa and you would like to learn the bars, then please go onto the website and find a facilitator in your area that will uh, that is going to be running classes. Now, depending on what country you're in, um, some countries are still not allowed to run bars classes, obviously because it's an event and people contact. So we've got to wait until that's changed. In South Africa, we are not at a point yet where we are allowed to run those kind of classes. So after lockdown, depending on what country you're in. If you would like to learn how to run the bars and become a bars practitioner, it's a one day class. So you attend the class, you will receive two bar sessions, you will gift two bar sessions, you will watch a DVD with Gary and Dane and they'll show you where all the hand positions are. You will receive a manual, they'll go through all the tools with access, plus more that I haven't um, discussed. And at the end of the day, you will be a certified access consciousness bars practitioner. You will be able to run bars as a business anywhere around the world and obviously for your friends and family, etc. There's also one really great additional body process that you will learn in the bars class and that's a process that deals with PTSD. So that's post-traumatic stress disorder. So now for some people, who have experienced a lot of stress during lockdown or any other aspect of their life or has incurred any kind of trauma, etc. This particular body process is phenomenal. So you can add it into a bar session or you can run it um, on the body as a, as a body process. And that you will also learn in the bars practitioner training class. So there's a lot of additional stuff in the one day class. Don't think that just because it's a one day class, you're not gonna get much promise you there is a ton of content in that one day class. Then if you are not interested in running bars as a business, but would just like to learn where the bars points are so that you can run it for your children to assist them with concentration or stress or whatever it is, or your partner or family members, or if you're taking care of an old person or something like that, and you'll just have more ease if their bars are run and they can have a, spa more, a space of relaxation, and even for yourself, you can come as families. Um, children are welcome. Children 16, um, 15 years and younger 
receive the classes for free in access. 16 and 17 years old, they get a 50% discount and then 18 and older, they're treated as an adult and they pay full price. So you can welcome to bring your children to any of the classes. So if you don't desire to be a bars practitioner and run it as a business, then you can attend a workshop where you'll learn where the different points are and you'll get a, a smaller version of the manual. Um, and then if you choose later on that you would like to do it as a business, then you can obviously repeat the class and do the full day bars practitioner training class and then you will be certified to be able to do that. Once you've done a full day bars practitioner training class, you then have the prerequisite to go to the four day foundation class, which I mentioned before. And once you've done the four day foundation class, you can then do the three day body class where you learn there's like 50 different body processes in the three day body class that you can learn or you can attend a four hour class where you just earn learn one body process at a time and then there's also the choice of possibilities class which is a three-day class that you can then do with gary or dane or simone melissus brendan watch or grace douglas so those are um, done online if you're in a country where you're unable to travel then you can do those classes body process classes sorry you can't do online but the choice of possibilities class you can do online there are a lot more classes available lots of specialty classes, etc. Please go onto the website to see what they're all about and the different um, options available. For um, here in South Africa, once lockdown is over, I travel around South Africa and I do the, I train bars practitioners. So I, I am a facilitator of the one day class and I'm also a facilitator of body processes. So I can do the four hour classes and teach one body process at a time. The body processes are great. They, um, depending on which ones you learn, they contribute to boosting your immune system. They're contributing to repair of the body. They contribute to um, changing tumors, all kinds of things. So there's lots of different um, aspects that the body processes contribute to with the body. I also do a empowerment workshop called the keys to unlocking you. So that's where you can start unlocking you so that you can access that brilliance that you've always hoped for, wished for, knew was there, just didn't quite know how to get to. Um, that is, if I'm doing it online, it's, it's a one day class with an evening intro or an orientation. And if I'm doing it live, it's a two day class, uh, just depending on what's happening with lockdown. And then what else is available? Oh, and then if you'd like to do a private clearing session, like an empowerment clearing session where we clear away all the past stuff energetically, you can do that with me online. And obviously then you can be anywhere in the world. We can do those online sessions. And then if you require a bar session, that's a hands-on process. So you either find a practitioner locally in your area, you can do that on the Access Consciousness website or contact me if you're close to me in Cape Town. So yes, this has been a lot of information. I hope it does give you a bit of an idea of what is available for you. And just know that if you are seeking, if you are looking, if you are researching, it's because you know something else is possible. You know that a greater reality is possible and you know that you would like to be a contribution to that. You also, even if it's just that you can feel better about yourself, these tools are amazing. It is so worthwhile attending some of the classes and learning how to use the tools that you can use for yourself every single day so that you are empowered to change things for you in your life. You won't be dependent on anybody else. You have everything available to you um, at your fingertips, to, so to speak. So if you have any questions, if you'd like to book a private session with me, if you would like to attend a bars class with me, if you would like me to come and teach a bars class anywhere in South Africa, Namibia, Botswana. I actually will travel anywhere. Um, I'm a, what I call a travel slat, because <laughs> um, I just love sharing these tools with people. Then please get hold of me um, for my empowerment workshop, private sessions, bars classes, body processes, cl process classes. My number is 082-929-5349. And my email address is jenny at blinkglobal.co.za. And what if we can really contribute to a greater reality, a sustainable planet that will go beyond the next 10, 
50, 100,000, 10,000 years. So I hope you enjoyed this information and I look forward to meeting you sometime.